So this is where we can't found key three in this book, right? Okay. Key and one. And that stupid broom closet. No, that isn't how we found key three. Wait a second. Oh my god. I found key two. What was it? It was in the book. For some reason, I... Did we not pick it up? We never picked it up. We, we or, opened or, it up and looked in there. Or we, we reset the game or died or something. After right. we got the key the first time. So, okay, okay. This, this, is, this is what the key was for. Uh, click the key work and unlock the door. The door is open. I don't think we go there. Do we move in there? Oh, yes, we do. Hey, there's the sling. There it is. What's this thing up top? It's a sword. Yep, double large sprout sword. The, the rune has, the rune has druidic handle written on it. <laughs> Sometimes I can't brain, alright? It's a slight, small leather sling. This would come in handy for long range battles. Such as against motherfucking. Trolls. Okay, so now we have a swad. And now we have the sling. And now we can get past the, the Cyclops. And just for fun, let's save state. Ah, yes. You, my fine gentleman, can go you to the devils. Hamana. Hamana, Hamana, Hamana. Hamana, Hamana. All right. So let's use a stone with the sling and then use the sling on do you want to read this? Sure. As soon as you start twirling the sling, a magical influence takes over your body. You cry out, Death to the Philistine! And release the stone. Bullseye! Uh, use the sword on that bastard. Oh, yeah! You drive the sword deep into the Cyclops. Blood pours out of the wound and into the grass. Okay, he dead. Uh, let's look at his shit. What do you expect after <laughs> stabbing it with your sword? Uh, I don't know. Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> Dude! It's not like he was just standing there, minding his own business, doing nothing. Okay, we're gonna use this gauntlet on ourselves, we'll need that for a second. Let's take the Cyclops. Okay, let's open the Cyclops, my bad. Okay, let's hit the Cyclops. <laughs> Good timing. Oh, you expect it hasn't happened. I guess it's no use beating a dead Cyclops. I guess not. Uh, it's a long, drafty hallway with one flight of stairs and several open passages. Hey, you know what I see. Burn the rug. Burn the rug. That's right. Fuck your rug. Shitty-ass wizard. Okay, we got a couple of doors here. Hmm. I, guess I mean, choose one. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter. 
Stand in a small library. Oh, there's so much stuff to set fire to here. Uh, you gotta grab... Yeah, don't forget that guy. Yeah, we gotta take the skull. Uh, I see a, uh, a book. Uh, the words, the old prophecy is written on it. Well, let's open it up! The book is open. You can't read the strange writing in the book. Uh, let's open up the desk. Oh, holy shit, yes. Alright, let's... Uh, Alright, here we go. Take the glasses. We'll look at all this stuff in a second. Take the key. Take the scroll. Take the other scroll. And then close the desk. Alright, now take let's that take... conspicuous looking map off the Yeah, wall. I know, right? It's so fucking conspicuous. But let's take a look at things. Glasses. These glasses are worn. They've probably been used for a long time. Well, let's put them on. It protects us from people who would never hit a man with glasses. They fit perfectly. Hmm. You can't see very well. So, I, I could, but... Eh. Okay, key five. Small iron key. Hey, this goes to that brass door. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. Ancient leather bound parchment. Ancient leather bound parchment. Oh, all right. We'll go ahead and light another torch. So we gotta open up the scrolls and learn the wisdom within. Uh, it's open. Your hand begins to sweat because you're so extre your extreme excitement. The land under the heavens, the key to the world. Terra Tarak. What? Learn to magic spell. Okay, so that's that finished. Let's open the next one. Terra Turok, I think, is for when we get deep underground. Alright, the scroll is open. You've read the scroll. To move the sun from far to near, light is what the darkness fears. Instantum Illuminanana. Banana nanana. Okay. Banana. Na banana. No, fuck. Uh, banana nana. F fuck, too many. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, what's his face? Uh, oh, fuck, what is his name? Martin something. Something Martin. Fuck. <laughs> what's that comedian that came up with that joke? Dave Martin? No, no. He's the guy who said Martin the reason Short. why there are no B batteries is because it would get confusing because you would ask for B batteries. No? Fuck, I can't remember. He was a writer for The Daily Show back in the before times. <laughs> Alright, let's look at this map. This map <coughs> it's a map of the lands of Tarkus. It's quite detailed, although incomplete. Hey, we, ha we, we have know? lore. Just take the thing. Uh, full of books. You don't have time to read every one of them. Think of your quest. All right, I'll take the map. The map is in hand. I don't remember. I don't what remember. The map... I do remember. It's one of the. Uh, it's one of the answers for the Sphinx. Oh, that fucking thing! Use the skull in the skull hole. Skulls for the skull hole. Uh, this is a complete 12 volume set of the Encyclopedia Juridica. That was That's funny. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a lot funnier back in before Wikipedia. What's an encyclopedia? Well, it's like a Wikipedia, only in book form. Uh, Circle of Twelves, hmm. you open the book to read it. The Circle of Twelve was formed before most things began to be. Their names are. Framus, Gorolan, Tal, Tal, Talodin, 
R- Randallin, G- George, John, Paul, Ringo, and Shark Man. Linkmar, <laughs> hey, we know that guy. And Gargura. So, when well, the silver was broken, <laughs> when the t- Talamar took a new name, the Warlock Lord. Okay, Talamar was one of the Circle of Twelve. Okay. Uh, bookcase is full of books. It's full of books. Full of books. So many books. Full of books. All right, let's use the skull in the skull hole. Seems to be the skull of some unfortunate individual. Okay, we'll use it in the skull hole. But actually, I think that's where the ruby goes. Nope, nothing happened. But let's use Red Gem instead. Hey, there we go. Dominated by a large fireplace. Holy shit, look at the size of this fireplace. Captain, look at the size of this fireplace. I see that. You can burn bodies in that damn thing. <laughs> All right, it's time to take shit. All right, you gotta... Uh, we need this poker, which actually looks like a 10-foot pole. We need these bellows. The bellows. Uh, we need this cup. That's the chalice in the palace. Now... That... That globe. Yeah, I know. I'm not even you, gonna look at it. We're just gonna open it. Open it. It won't open. <laughs> what? Wait... I know, I know it opens. I yeah, know, I know it opens too. It's glowing on the stand for display. It shows little, the known land. Looking closely, you can see a seam along the equator. Yes, I know. Open it. It won't open. Hang on, we've got swords for this reason. Nothing happened. Fuck. Hey, we have a picture of stars over here. Let's take a look at that. Oh, it's a it's a window. Okay, you can see the moon hovering over the the darkened mountains. Hit it. Okay, let's hit it. Punch it. Kick it. Yell at it. Break. Ah, uh, nothing. Although we do have a um, hammer. We do have a hammer. Nothing happened. Fuck. Let's look at the base. Hmm. Hold on, what, the, what was that second part? Oh, uh, it has a seam in it. Looking closely, you can see the seam along the equator. Along the equator. Um. Let's get some much needed warmth in here and light this uh, fireplace on fire. And torch the firewood. There we go. The fire starts burning, adding warmth to the room. See, there we go. And you know what I see? I see a rug. Fucking burn that rug. Quickly catches fire and burns away. Fuck you, rug. Fuck you, warlock. Fuck your rug, wizard. It's time to save now that I've completed my real goal, destroying all the rugs. <laughs> uh, what's our... Try a spell. Try try magic. So we've got... Breaks open the earth. Hey! A large cack, crack appears around the equator of the globe. F- fucking seriously? So when it said it's the key to earth, it meant it literally. Literally. <clears throat> the globe is open. We got another key in here. And another bottle. Small black bottle with a cork on the top. Uh, it's a jet black skeleton key. And that was the other hard thing. Bottle four, bottle five, bottle two, bottle six. Yeah, you've got to look at the bottles before you start using them. All right, that's a warm fire. Yeah. 
Oh, we're done with this area. Let's go to the next door. It smells like More a kennel in here. There are no windows through which to circulate, circumvent, air, air thing. <clears throat> a simple latch secures this. Should I, uh, should I open the cage? Oh, you, you should, a oh, hold on. You should save first, but you should absolutely open it. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, we're saved, but I mean, that, well, there's no reason to, to save. We're fine. Oh, it's it's <laughs> yeah. very safe. Rawr. You remove the latch and a mutated dog pounces on you. It looks like the doctor put something strange in the dog's, dog's water. Before you can do anything else, the mutant quickly rips your you apart. <clears throat> I don't I don't understand. I trusted it, man. I trusted it. It should have been completely all right. I need more water. <laughs> Be right back. We are doing awesome. Alright. What is this thing? Is that a mortal or a pestle? Is that one of the mortal pestles? There's some pe poisonous looking liquid in the pot. It really stinks. Grab that horseshoe. Uh, it seems to be taking quite a beating. Small silver vial with glows with lustrous shine. You notice that it's impossibly light. Hey, we got another one of these. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, extremely slimy. This one's a test tube in a wooden rack. Well, we'll steal that. This one's uh, lustrous shine. Another one. Silver vial. All right, it's time to start taking all the things. Horseshoe, which I think Take is another. All the thing. Another bottle. Another bottle two. They're just called bottle twos. All right, I know better. It's gonna go out on me. That, that's going to be our real killer. We will run out of torches. Like you do. When was the last time you played a... Uh... You know what? Is there ever a reason to use torches anymore in Dungeons & Dragons? Everybody's got dark vision. I think it's always handy to have a lantern. Um, no, wait, go back. Oh, well, hey, there's the flute. Yep, there's but you the gotta flute. go back. All right. What am I going back for? Look at the floor. Oh, holy shit. Uh, lab animals can be changed to the stone while performing experiments on them. On the... on the floor? <laughs> Open the floor. I tried. Can't. Take Can't the floor. <laughs> so, I don't think so, man. Now Did... try using it. Alright, alright. Oh, the stone rises out of the floor and a shining vial is inside. I don't even know what that is. Me either, let's see. I don't remember it. I just knew that that did something. Uh, it's filled with a clear liquid yeah. the side of a cross on it. It's holy water. It's holy water. Yeah, the water is in hand. Well, it's good to know that there's, you know, a spot to chain animals to the floor while you're experimenting on the floor. Stand in a small garden within a castle walls. Outside air is cool and moist. This 
small wooden flute. Looks like it could make a wonderful music. Yes, it could. To a snake. By using the silver gauntlets, you move the flute easily. The sound of water splashing is music to your ears. It's acid. Exquisite marble statue in the shape of image of the sea serpent. That's not a serpent, that's a fish. It's spews an acidic liquid. See there, right there is your uh, is your clue if you look at shit before just reaching for the flute. Yeah, the acid got me a while back too. I think that's it for this place. Well, I mean, shall I go to the snake? Cap, you still there? Huh, who's Blue Raccoon? Yeah, all right. Cap, did I miss, did I lose you? No, you didn't lose me. It's uh, our trashmen uh, <laughs> have torn up our um, our waste baskets, and uh, we got some new ones, and they're they've started to tear them up again. And I just noticed we got charged. We're getting charged for uh, for a waste basket, and it's a waste basket that I'm sharing with the neighborhood because they want us to put our waste basket baskets up uh, on a certain part of the curb. Well, if if they're gonna do me like that. Because I've, I've seen the way they, they collect these things. They freaking trash them. So, yeah, I'm gearing up for a fight. <laughs> yeah, you're getting ready to fight, man. Jeez. All right, let's use the flute. The flute's music could possibly lead you to an endless dream. Okay, that did dick. God damn it. <clears throat> the flute didn't soothe the snake. We open this door now. Hey, um, hey, Captain. Cat, Cat, you need a minute? No, 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 no. Oh, boy, am I hot? Damn, I'm sure hot. It looks like I'm hot. If you go to the pub uh, and look at the thing that uh, uh, Untrusted posted, uh, I'm sure you're not temperature hot, Captain. I'm sure you're hot headed right now. Yeah? How much are they charging you? Not that much. It's like 36 bucks. But the thing is, you know, I've been a nice guy, and, and I think that um, one of those neighbors doesn't have a bin. And so they've been using my bin. And on top of that, the trash guys have been so abusive to those bins that um, we, we just got some new ones. And they're already tearing them up. And we're getting charged for that. And, man, that ain't right. Um, so I'm, I've, I've also been a nice guy and, and let my bin be picked up down the road. Well, I'm going to try and make them pick them up in front of my house from here on out. So you can't take care of you you can't take care of the damn property you're going to charge me for it. I need to be able to keep an eye on it. So, I'm going to I'm going to cause them some grief and I cannot wait. Good times will be had by me. <laughs> hey, can we burn this rug? Hey, I th I thought you would never ask. <laughs> Let's burn the rug. 
family crest of Sir Dung Dungum himself. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Uh, use torch. On rug. Uh, oh, hey, this has got a key underneath. So there was an actual hey, reason hey. to burn this rug. Also, fuck the warlock. Key I wish the, the other rug left some kind of charred remain behind. That would make it more satisfying. You would. Uh, rusty lock. What? I'm looking at a key. It's talking about a lock. I think something got it's mixed up. Lock. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's another rug. <coughs> <coughs> it's a silk tapestry. Isn't it beautiful? It's a nice tapestry. It'd be, be a shame, shame if something, something, something happened to it. Yeah, yeah. Happened to it. <laughs> <laughs> he torched the tapestry. There we go. Uh, here's a mirror. Um, frame, fine mirror, laced with silver and gold. Uh, grab that mirror. Oh, now, now, first it. the hammer. I don't think we hammer that mirror. The mirror seems to have been helpless victim of your wrath. Okay, now I'll take the mirror. Mirror is in hand. Um... 